Ugh. Oh god. It. Oh god. It will not let me. Please get me out of full screen. Okay. Okay, I, I was in the middle of something. Capture specific window 256. Whoa. Don't like. There we go. There we go. That's right. I gotta. It keeps giving me pop ups saying, like, here's how you record your game. It's just like, I'm way ahead of you, Microsoft. Alright, Pac Man. I'm the true Fisher Man. Oh, that reminds me. I should download Stardew one. Because apparently it does this rather smoothly when I'm not... It apparently does in fact download extremely smoothly while I'm, while I'm streaming. There we go, this is a little less hell on my eyes. Yeah, my screen is... Oh dear, I'm... I've been dealt a bad hand, okay. Yeah, my new screen is, um, it's 32 inches, so significantly bigger than the laptop screen. So not only can I now actually shrink this window so I can see the UI fully on it, it used to be cut off slightly at the bottom in a lot of these games, but also it's just very bright. <laughs> get that oh boy I'm dropping frames now why am I dropping frames oh it's probably because of the installation what am I saying this must be a let me just double ch whoa okay I've never seen that happen before That's uh that's kinda cool if that's on purpose. It looks like it was on purpose. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that happen. Oh dear. <laughs> ah, I forgot. I was paying attention.
Looks like everything's kind of backing up a lot. Let me see how how dang old Stardew is doing. It's about halfway through. We're almost there. I don't have any music I can play during this because I got like nothing. I don't I don't have my music on the computer yet. Oh, I just finished transferring to the USB. Okay. For those of you wondering, I have to transfer everything from there because... Uh, Christ, let me get my thoughts in order. I... This thing does not have an optical drive, so I can't burn my CDs to it. So I have to transfer it manually through, like, a USB or a, or a cord or something. Because, yeah, I'm the MF who still buys CDs. This is all gonna be a little fucky, but once it gets uploaded to... YouTube or something like that, it'll be smooth sailing. Aw, oh, dear. I didn't realize in time that that was going to be a ghost. Okay. We're just gonna hold on until... We're just gonna hold on over here until... Stardew finishes. It's almost done. We're at 318 out of 409. So we're we're close. We're just gonna wait here. Wait for everything to kind of un-F itself. Once, the, once that red square on OBS goes away, I'll resume. In the meantime, I can complain about this guy is 7. Or specifically, how much this guy is 7 has the audacity to do what it's doing. Because this guy is 7 is. Well, it's $59.99, $60. That's not a problem. Stop. Go away, Norton. This thing came with Norton. I didn't have a choice in it. But, yeah, it's $60. $60. That's not the problem. The problem is this game came out on the 3rd. There's already DLC for it, and it's stories. It's not even, like, cosmetics or anything, although some are cosmetics. The cosmetics set is actually the most expensive thing at $14.99. <laughs> There's the typical starter support set for when you're bad at video games, but that that's nothing new. But yeah, they added... Once completed, you'll gain them as playable characters and save icons. Laharl, Etna, Rosalind. Oh goody, they put Flan in a different one. Yep, they put her with Valvatores and Fenric. Because... Screw keeping... <laughs> like, at least keep the characters, like, together, you know what I'm getting at? Oh my god, well, it's finished, but just fucking hell. There's already, like... 
each individual DLC, I mean, it's probably, to top things off, it's probably like three maps, too. They're all $8 individually, and so to buy them all together, under here it says, add all DLC to cart, that's eighty nine eighty nine. But don't you worry. This is the launch week, so you can buy the game and all the DLC for 30% off for the low price of 104 88 That's all it costs to get a complete game. I... You know, Nis Nipponichi Software, I know that you're in kind of dire straits nowadays, but it's like, this is not going to help you. Gouging people for, like, individual shit. And I know what you're going to say. Man, they had DLC before. Yeah, but it usually took months for it to come out. It wasn't just there when the game came out. I mean, granted, this has been out in Japan for a while, but it's still just like, just put it in the fucking game. It took months for it to come over to America, so just give us the complete version where it's just like $70 for the game plus all DLC. Instead of being like, oh, well, you know, here you go. Ugh. I really wanna... I really wanna know how the Japanese are taking this. Do you think they're getting pissed? I hope they are. Because... So many of these... Like, at this point, for the US release, this should just be in the game. This shit hurts, man. I really like... Nisa's games, but this is, like, pissing me off. I'm not paying 10488 for this. I'm not paying any... Money for Disgaea 7. <sighs> it's like motorcyclists heard that bicyclists were being hated and they decided to step up their game. <laughs> <sighs> Whatever. Like, by this point... Like, at this point, the version released in America should be the complete edition. Especially since you know damn well that... Uh, because this is what happens with every Nipponichi game. They release a version. They release, like, some extra content for it. It all adds up to well over 100. And then, a year later, after you've already bought all the DLC, it's like, here's the complete edition, and it has all the DLC we put in there, and it has an extra thing for $60. So it's like, just wait until it comes... Just wait until the actual complete edition comes out. Don't buy this now. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna be mad about this for a while. How does it feel to live long enough to see all your favorite franchises go down in flames? Feels great. Speaking of don't buy this, do not settle for the scraps that they are giving me. Motherfucker. <laughs> this is what I get for being about to run my mouth again. <laughs> this... Do not settle for... Do not settle for the scraps that they're giving us as Persona 3 fans. Because it's like, $70, there's gonna be day one DLC on that one. That one just straight up says on the store page, it's day one. Because I think it's releasing worldwide on the... on February... 20-something? I forget what the date was. It's February something. I have it written down somewhere. But it's $70. It's not gonna... It's not gonna contain the answer. It's not gonna contain... The, uh... The Persona 3 portable content. And to get the complete edition of that one, complete with, like, the season pass for the day one DLC, which is all... Wait, it's not a season pass for that one. 
I was boned right from the start, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna I'm gonna open that one now. <laughs> I I am going crazy, ladies and gentlemen. I'm ignoring this. I'm gonna ignore Disgaea 6 too, because you pulled a similar thing. Maybe even a little worse because the complete edition of Disgaea 6 did not get released on Switch. I mean, it ran like butt on Switch, but it's still just kind of like, come on. It really is like, oh, you played this on the wrong system. Sorry about that. Why are the reviews for this mixed now? Reading this and new to the series, try five or four. They're both on Steam. Yeah, just play five. It has probably the worst story, but it is. It's the best gameplay wise. Story is alright. Auto battle has some nice use cases, and handling abilities is very convenient now. However, the lack of boss variety, mandatory mass reincarnations, and the juice bar make the game significantly worse. I heard that the juice bar got even worse in 7, so that's great. Overall, it's kind of meh. 100% completion boils down to beating all stages except the most difficult one, reaching the max level, grinding some items, and playing around the game's hub. Like D5, the hardest boss in the game is completely optional. Unlike D5, that boss requires a ton of tedious grinding and just isn't fun to fight. Yay! <sighs> to address a silly complaint from people who gripe about the auto-combat feature, why? It's uh, it's optional. If you have the time and want the grind, don't use it. If you're like me who wants to enjoy the endgame, but like many others have gotten older and with it more responsibilities, the auto-feature is an absolute blessing. Well, I mean, here's the thing. You have to let the game... Like, you know how some mobile games will... Like, Girls Frontline, for example, you have the option of sending your girls off on auto battles. You don't have to have the game open in order for them to do that. It'll just be like, it'll idle on the cloud in the background. You can, you can idle, and then you can come back like three hours later and it's like, we finished the auto battle. Well, all three of them. In this game, you have to let the game run in order to do it, so you're wasting power. So it's like, at that point, it's like, really just load up the game and just grind yourself. I heard that some people's switches got hot while letting this game run. Again, that game was not optimized for Switch in the slightest from what I heard. Which is sad because this guy of 5 ran perfect on that thing. And it can't even be an issue with the 3D graphics because Super Mario Odyssey had way better graphics than this guy of 6 did, and it ran perfect. This. I'm gonna be blunt. This game looks... it looks cheap. It looks cheap! I said it! They should have never gone past 2D. It's not like you don't have the sprites already. Just keep reusing them. You already started using the same sprites for every character. Because, like, Lord knows there's no unique sprites for each character anymore. Well, like, animations, rather, I meant. I say from what I heard in regards to the Switch one, I did play the demo of it, and I was just like, oh, this is rough. This is fucking rough. Look at all these ghosty. Compared Disgaea 5's sprite animations to Disgaea 2's, and it's honestly kind of nuts. Like, yeah, the Disgaea 5 sprites look better, but there's not as many, like, unique animations. Like, Razi 
in two had a couple where she would just kind of like cock her head back and she would like do this triumphant little pose. Like Serafina has the one where she pulls out the guns and stuff, but that's about it. Everybody has the same pointing move. Like everybody has the same point, everybody has the same like... I don't know. Like, look up a sprite sheet. <laughs> D -d you ass! I can't do that with the mouse, apparently. I'm so irritated. <laughs> Impressively mid, stick to 4 and 5, hope 7 is better. Cannot recommend until they fix the graphical problems with anything to do with effects on AMD hardware. Anything that has a light source flickers like crazy, as well as a few background objects in various scenes. And fix immediately, Nisa. I mean, this, this review was on October 4th. This is for the sixth game. I can only assume that they have not fixed shit on this one for months. <laughs> Lost power saves all gone. Oh. Jesus. Is smaller than five? I mean, it doesn't help that when Disgaea 6 first launched, they had a bunch of classes removed. Like, and it was a lot of long time cla classes, too. Like, they took out Nekamata, they took out a bunch of them. I think they added them back in as DLC, meaning you had to pay for that shit. Whoopee. <laughs> I'm just I I'm I'm so angry. I've never been this angry in my entire life. God, this is this is so fucking depressing. This guy, uh, why is Phantom Brave put under Disgaea but not Lapuso? Arguably that one has a bit more to do with it. Ugh. I should stop, I should stop looking at this. I just have it open in the background because now I actually can have things open in the background. Ugh. God. I'm so pissed. I'm, I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm just so mad. Oh, uh, I am... I am cranky. One more go and then I probably should have lunch before I go to work. I have to go to work at two. I'm just pissed because I've been playing Disgaea since, like... 
I've been, I've been playing it since like 2004. I got La Pucelle first. I didn't even realize that they were related to each other at the time. I just got that. I just happened to get that one first because I saw a a promo video for it at Walmart, and I was just like, "Oh, she looks cool." I made a mistake. Well, it would have happened anyway. <laughs> Why does my wrist hurt? <sighs> man, oh man. Ugh, I didn't see you come down with him. I'm so screwed. I am so screwed. Ooh. Jesus, give me a power up. Oh no. Oh no. Fine. That's a, that's a good enough test for now, I think. Anyway... That was the first stream on my brand new computer. It seems like it ran smoother, well, aside from me trying to download something while, I, while streaming, but... It didn't crash! Uh, anyway, hope you all have a nice day. Don't buy Disgaea 7. <laughs> Good afternoon, good evening, and good night, everybody. <laughs>